Now, hi, this is Pastor Harley Wheeler with the Broadway United Methodist Church. I have an interesting verse here because if you were with us yesterday and Proverbs told us, don't boast about tomorrow, we almost, and truly, don't boast about yesterday either. Your glory is in the Lord. But here's Solomon in Second chapter, Second Chronicles chapter 6, verse 10. He seems to, it sounds a little like boasting, though I don't think it is. Listen here. He says, now the Lord has fulfilled his promise that he made. For I have risen in the place of David my father and sit on the throne of Israel as the Lord promised. And I have built the house for the name of the Lord, the God of Israel. Well, there is a little bit of I in there, and you do wonder Solomon didn't end well, though he started well. But this is in the part where he really is walking in faith. He does give credit to the Lord first. He says the Lord has fulfilled the promise that he made to Solomon's father David, to the people of Israel that he would establish them in their own land and to Solomon who's there on the throne and in fact he says not I have got myself a throne or I have made myself king he says I have risen it's something God did the verse is open with relationship God having a promise made and God fulfilling it and Solomon finding that he has been raised up to the throne and for a purpose to sit on the throne of Israel, to express God's promises through his rule. And he built the house for the name of the Lord, the God of Israel. In other words, he put in the center of what he was doing, and he was doing great things. He was doing the sort of things that people were going to announce to the world and talk about for ages to come. But he says, it has been done so that God might be at the center of this people. He built a temple there that no one could forget was there, even when they tried, even when they tried to pollute it with idols, when, even when they tried to close its doors. A temple was so substantial they knew that that land belonged to God. This world belongs to God. You belong to God. So what God has raised you to, he has given you many gifts, I'm sure. You know, you're to express that God has given you this. He's worked with you in covenant and relationship all this time. He loves you still. Put him at the center of your life. Be blessed.